Sa first derivative test, na kuha natin ang local minimum at saka local maximum ng isang given function and also nakuha rin natin kung ang function ay increasing or decreasing sa given interval. Now, sa pagkataon ito, ang gagamitin naman natin is yung second derivative test para sa concavity at saka sa point of inflection. Now, visually, ito yung given function nyo at kapag ka ang function daw ay concave up kapag ka meron kang pa U-shape na curvature doon sa function nyo. At yung concave daw naman, e eh kung yung uh, U-shape nyo is pababa. So, imagine it as yung, let's say, lalagyan ng tubig. Kapag ka nag ka ng tubig dito sa curvature na to, yung um, curvature nyo mapupunuan ng tubig. So, iyan, concave up yung magiging function nyo kapag ka yung um, graph ng function nyo e eh may pa U-shape na tulad nito. Now, concave down naman kapag ka yung um, graph ng function nyo ay may ganitong shape. So, visually, ganun natin ma-interpret um, yung uh, concavity ng isang function. Now, paano naman natin magagamitan ng calculus yung um, function natin para makita natin kung concave up or concave down yung ating given function. Now, ito yung mga conditions para sa second derivative test. If yung second derivative nyo a positive number, then yung graph ng function nyo is said to be concave up. At kapag ka naman yung inyong second derivative is negative number, ang graph nyo ay magiging concave down. Kaya dito sa function na to, alam natin na concave up itong uh, graph natin sa interval from here up until this point at from this point up until here concave down naman. Now, mahalaga rin na malaman natin kung saan nagbago yung direction ng inyong concavity kasi yun ang tinatawag na point of inflection. So, ang mga hahanapin natin values today will be the concavity at saka yung point of inflection ng isang function using the second derivative test. Now, this is example number one. We need to find the interval where the function is concave up and concave down. Now, we, also, we are also asked to determine the point of inflection if it exists in this particular function. Now, yung function na gagamitin natin is x cubed minus 12x minus 5. Now, we have some series of steps that we need to follow para makuha yung concavity ng function at saka ng point of inflection. Yung first step natin will be to find the second derivative of your function and set it to 0 to find its critical point. Now, for f of x equal to x cubed minus 12x minus 5, ang first derivative niya is 3x squared minus 12. At yung second derivative naman, itong function na to will be 6x. So once again, we're doing concavity and point of inflection, kaya yung second derivative ang bibigyan natin ng pansin, at hindi yung first derivative. So yung second derivative natin na 6x, yun yung set natin to 0 to find the critical number. So dito, yung 6x nyo, which is the second derivative, equal to 0, divide both sides by 6, and you'll have x is equal to 0. So yun yung first step finding the critical number of your second derivative. Now, yung second step nyo, para rin siyang first derivative test, gagamitan nyo rin ang sign chart. At dun sa sign chart, titingnan natin yung magiging value noong um, function nyo doon sa given interval. So, since ang critical number natin is 0 doon sa second derivative, ito yung sign chart natin, ito yung partition natin which is at x equal to 0, Dito sa bahagi nito, ito yung negative infinity at ito namang sa right side will be your positive infinity. Now, from zero to negative infinity, so interval na negative infinity up until zero, kahanapin natin kung, kung concave up or concave down yung ating function. At from this interval naman, hahanapin natin or check natin kung concave down or concave, concave up yung ating function. Now, tulad nung ginawa natin before, since ang uh, concavity eh, nagpo-focus sa second derivative, gagamitin natin yung function ng second derivative. At yung function ng second derivative nyo is 6x. So, PPD lang tayo ng mga numbers na less than 0. So, pwedeng negative 1, negative 2, or negative 3, and so on. And in this case, I chose negative 1. So, f double prime of negative 1 will give me negative 6, which is a negative number. So, therefore, since my second derivative is a negative number or less than 0, my concavity is going down on this given interval from negative infinity to zero. Now, dun sa second partition ka naman to check if it's concave up or concave down, gagawin ko rin yung ginawa ko dito. 
So, yung second derivative ko, pipili ko ng number na greater than zero. So, pinili ko is positive one. And I got a positive number when I substituted the value of positive one doon sa second derivative function ko. At na-prove ko na yung function ko is concave up from zero to the positive infinity. So, now, since nasagot ko na yung first part ng um, problem, kailangan ko na lang ma-determine kung ano yung point of inflection or kung saan nagpapalit na ang concavity yung aking function. And to do that, step number three is using yung original function, which is x cubed minus 12x minus 5. Is substitute nyo yung value ng critical number nyo na second derivative doon sa function to find the point of inflection. That's why I have f of x equal to x cubed minus 12x minus 5. Ginamit ko yung 0 kasi yung critical number ko doon sa second derivative is 0 and I got negative 5 for the value of y. So therefore, yung point of inflection ko ay nag exist at 0 and negative 5. Now, mahalaga na malaman nyo na yung step number 3 e eh, pwede yung uh, um, gamitin or pwedeng hindi rin tayo umabot sa step number 3. Kaya lang tayo nagkaroon ng step number 3 is kasi alam natin na mayroong point of inflection kasi meron kayong pagbabago ng concavity which is concave down and then concave up. So imagine ito yung uh, concavity nyo, concave down, tapos yung isa is concave up. So nagkaroon kayo ng ganitong um, function, kaya dito sa point na to na nagko-connect meron kang point of inflection kaya pwede mo siyang magamit. Now, Kailan naman magkakaroon ng uh, sagot na walang point of inflection? Imagine yung function nyo is walang concavity at meron lang siyang concave up. So, wala siyang point of inflection kapag ganito yung situation ng inyong function. Kaya minsan, meron tayong step 3, minsan wala. At dito sa function na to, meron tayong step 3 kasi may pagbabago sa concavity. So, yan yung second derivative test to find out the concavity of a given function and the point of inflection, if ever it exists, given the original function.